as a communicator i've learned from the several animals that i've spoken to that there are many other ways that they like their humans to create a relationship with them and a deeper bond with them so if you want to know a few of these ways then keep watching this video hi my name is akshaya kavle i'm a nature and animal communicator which means i can speak to plants animals and other species and have two way conversations with them in this video i'm going to share with you three simple ways of creating a better relationship with our animals at home and mind you these are a few things that animals themselves have shared with me so it's interesting to see things from their perception and understanding things from their opinions and their opinions as well so tip number 1 is to understand the breed or the species that you are having i know it sounds very basic however a lot of times we get really uh, curious or we get very happy with something that we see and in an impulse we may adopt the animal we may bring the animal uh, home without knowing a lot about them if we do understand the breed and we understand their genetics it really helps us a lot to understand them better because certain things are very uh, breed driven very species driven for example it's very common for bigger breeds to have uh, an inverted stomach uh, uh, an inverted intestine wherein if uh, they you know have a lot of physical activity before or after the meal this can happen and they need immediate attention now this is something that's very common with bigger breeds but very few people know it so as much as uh, it sounds like this is basic information it's still very important information because a lot of us may miss out on it so understanding the breed understanding a little bit about their history also helps because it's uh, as if we are understanding where our animal is coming to us from you know their ancestry so not just at the most basic level of knowing uh, how your dog is but even at an emotional level to understand their history and their ancestry helps us automatically create a very different and a deeper bond with them so tip number 1 is knowing about your breed knowing more about the animal that you have at home Tip number 2 is spending more time with them and passively engaging with them. Now a lot of times we feel that we can develop relationships by giving them food, by playing with them, by going out with them, by providing them with luxuries that may be important to us, by doing things that they love. But apart from this one of the things that really helps them know us better is when we passively engage with them so by this i mean that we don't need to do anything together we just need to be together and when we are together they can sense our energy they can understand us better they observe us physically they observe us at an energetic level and they learn a lot about us likewise we do the same with them and it really helps us create a deeper bond and this is how we you know sometimes just know what our animals want without even communicating without even uh, anything happening because this passive engagement really helps us you know and in integrate our energies together and become one in the true sense of the term so tip number 2 is passively engaging with our animals and tip number 3 the most common thing that i keep saying always is keep talking to them it doesn't matter if you believe or don't believe in telepathic communication it does not matter if you have learned it formally or not all you need to do is put your heart and mind to just having a conversation with them and keep speaking to them either verbally or mentally because remember they understand everything we say and feel and it really 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 helps them understand us when we keep telling them what we are doing what our expectations from them are how we would like to live our lives with them and vice versa so keep talking to them as an adult individual and not just baby talking always because that's not nice we can do it sometimes but uh, we also need to respect them as adult individuals so keep talking to them and these three ways are some things that i do personally to understand not only my own animals better but even when i am working as a communicator i do study about breeds i do uh, you know like to passively engage even during my communication sometimes i'll just 
be with them telepathically to allow them to feel my energy and vice versa and of course i keep talking to my own animals i keep talking to other people's animals also as a consultation which helps me create better relationships with uh, entirety of nature around me so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful if you have more tips to add please do mention them in the comment section below and until the next video bye bye